In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Quick disclaimer before I get started, this only works in cycles, so if you're looking for better lighting in Eevee, I'll probably have some other tutorials about that up later. In interior scenes, light spill from windows adds tons of warmth and atmosphere to your scene. Getting these kinds of lighting effects can be harder than it initially seems though. One way to do it is simply cut holes in the walls of your scene out of frame of the camera. The problem is, with most cases, you probably want the light spilling into your scene to come from windows that are visible. You could remove the glass, but that cuts down on the realism. And if you're going for full photo real interiors, that's an issue. The solution though, is actually really simple. We're going to make what I like to call a ray pass-through shader. The shading setup is actually from the official Blender manual, so I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to refer to it later. First, disconnect your glass shader, then add a mix shader and use it to blend the glass shader with a transparency shader. Then add a math node, set it to maximum, and bring in a light path node. Connect the shadow ray output of the light path node to the top input on your math node, and the reflection output of the light path node into the bottom input of the math node. Now connect the output of your math node to the input of your mix node, and you're done. This tells the renderer to send the non-reflection rays through the transparent part of our shader instead of the glass part, making the direct rays pass through without refracting and shadowing as they would with a plain glass shader. The rays passing directly through create these nice light spill effects that you see in real life, and they give your interiors that extra touch of realism. So yeah, that's it. If you end up using this setup in your art, please link it in the comments. I'd love to see more of what you guys are making. Also, don't forget to throw a like on this and subscribe if you want to see more tips. I'm considering trying to stick to a regular upload schedule. Um, I was kind of thinking Mondays would be a time lapse of some kind. Wednesdays would be something a little more casual, kind of chatting about the state of Blender and maybe giving you guys some industry tips that I've built in my career. And uh, Fridays would probably be something like a tutorial, something like this. Um, not sure about that, but let me know what you guys think in the comments.